everyone, it's Janome Man, aka Michael Smith, and today I thought I would do this little video uh, for you to show you these beautiful stitches here that I created with our fabulous software, Stitch Composer, that comes with many of our machines. I've written a blog for the Janome Life blog about how to use Stitch Composer, but as well you could go on the Janome.com or Janome.ca site and there's some more information there, as well as YouTube videos, how to use Stitch Composer software to create your own stitches. Now when people say, oh I'm not uh, creative, I'm not artistic, then I always say, oh you can just write your name. So here I created my name, Mike, in Stitches. So how I got that to my machine, and today I'm sewing on the Continental M7, but again, many of our machines, uh, like the 15,000, 9400, 9450, S9, uh, I might even be forgetting one or two, so many machines come with the Stitch Composer software. So after I create my stitches in the software on your computer, then I put it on a USB stick and plug it into the machine. So once my USB is plugged into the machine, I go up here to the file folder with the little arrow, and I've got two categories to select. I've got the memory of the machine, or then there is my USB flash drive. So I click on that, and then I've got a ordinary folder for ordinary sewing. If you're familiar with our Genome embroidery machines, we also have an EMB folder for embroidery, but this is my ordinary sewing folder, and I know my designs in there because I really like to keep all my uh, stitches that I create organized. So I click on the folder, and then there it says STX, meaning stitches. So I always save everything as SC, so Stitch Composer, and then whatever I choose to name my file. So whenever I see STX, that means stitches. If it were a Janome embroidery file for embroidery, it would say uh, JEF for Jeff or Jeff Plus for a in Janome embroidery file. So that's how we can tell the difference. That is stitches. So it's going to stitch out on our ordinary sewing, regular sewing machine. Now I wanted to point out this arrow up here because it say that you save your design on your USB stick, you plug it in your machine, whatever it happens to be, and you can't find your design. This up arrow will really save your life. So I can press it and go back, and there it takes me back to my main uh, or ordinary folder. But then if I think, oh no, my design's not there, I can click this back again. Now, now it's grayed out, so I can't go any further. But now you can see, here's my embroidery folder, there's my ordinary sewing folder. So maybe I saved it into this embroidery folder by accident. So clicked on that, and then these are two folders that I've created, subfolders that I've created within the embroidery folder. So I don't see my designs there. So, but down here to the right, I see page one of two. So if I scroll down on that arrow, then I see, oh yes, here is my design. I had accidentally saved it here instead. So if you can't find your designs, but you know they're on the uh, USB stick, try using that up arrow or back arrow and go over here to the side and see if you've got page one of two or one of four and just keep scrolling until you find your design. It's gonna be there somewhere. So I'm going to X out of that, and then uh, in order to find my design, I'm going to go to the, uh, this is decorative stitches or quilting stitches, and then I go to created stitches. And now these are the same designs, but I ended up saving them as two different names to save them in two different locations to show you that about the arrows and such. But once then the design is brought into the machine, I select it and I can stitch away. Uh, you'll see the uh, machine has suggested I use the F foot, uh, the satin stitch foot that has a little groove on the bottom. I'm instead using the open toe or F2 foot that also comes with the M7. I like that better visibility. But by having that groove underneath for my decorative stitches, uh, as well, always with decorative stitches, I use a stabilizer underneath to support the stitches and lots of fun to stitch out. So I hope that helps and happy sewing.